So I got this fitness center with some showers, some bathrooms, and some bathrooms over here, and I want to model this thing insanely fast for you guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to model the water piping really fast. So let's get some custom fixtures that I've created specifically for modeling fast inside Revit. We'll copy those to the clipboard. We'll go back to that view. And I'm going to turn on the plumbing view type or discipline so you guys can see all the fixtures. Get rid of the section box. And I'm just going to control V and we're just going to paste these plumbing fixtures that I've created inside of this model. Now that they're in there, I'm just going to hit delete and we're just going to use something called batch copy. So I'm going to go up to collaborate, copy monitor, select link, select that link, batch copy, and I'm just going to hit copy the fixtures based on my current type mapping. I'm going to continue copying and now my fixtures have been placed basically over top of the architect's fixtures. Now there's a little bit of cleanup I have to do, so I'm just gonna finish it off. So let's uh, go ahead and open up a floor plan. And so we need to move these water closets back. So let's just align this to this, align this to this, and now we are essentially done. Now I don't need to monitor these fixtures, so I'm just gonna go ahead and stop monitoring them. And I talk about monitoring uh, plumbing fixtures in my three secrets video, which I'll show you guys how to get to at the end of this video. So let's start modeling. And now that we have our own fixtures in the model, I don't even need to see the architect's fixtures because they're just distracting. So I'm gonna actually go to VV, go to Revit links, and we're just gonna change the visibility to custom, and I'm just gonna uncheck plumbing fixtures from the architect's model. And now that they've been removed, we can see our fixtures a little more clearly. Now I'm gonna put my floor plan in the top. So now that we have our floor plan on the top and our 3D view on the bottom, we can work really efficiently inside Revit. I'm just gonna move my floor plan up a little smaller. All right, so the first thing we need to do is draw a nice cold water main. And we'll start in our water service room over here. So I'll use the pipe command. And we'll start drawing at two inch at nine foot. So we'll draw it from the water service room over here. And we'll go to a point about right there. Hit escape. And now we'll start over here with these little miniature bat or individual bathrooms. Now these fixtures that I have created have really uh, unique connectors on them, okay? And I go into this uh, connector detail in my Three Secrets mini course that you can get at mepguy.com. But what we're gonna use is connect into. And I'm gonna select the connector that I want, hit okay, and click the main. And you can see the water connection was automatically created for me because of the special connector I have on that thing. So I'm going to do it again. We'll just use connect into and we'll select the right connector and select our main. And as you can see, I'm making that connection very fast and efficiently. And so we can do it again and I'll do the same thing, connect into and I'll do it from a 3D view this time right there. And this time I want to connect the piping right here to this lavatory over here. So I'm going to use connect into and I'm gonna select the right connector, and we're gonna click on this right here. And as you can see, all those connections were made in a 3D view, and everything's looking nice from the floor plan as well. So let's go ahead and continue. We'll start with the water closets. Now I wanna separate these into two different systems, one for the women's and one for the men's. So let's just start at the women's. So I'll just create similar here, and we'll just drop a pipe maybe to about that point right there and we'll just select all of these water closets right here. We'll create a piping system. We'll use the domestic cold water, and I just have to select the right connector, and I know it's the first one since I created these fixtures. And we'll generate a layout, and all the settings are already correct, but basically we're gonna use, well, they're not correct, so I happen to know that the connector is at two feet from the fixture, so I'm gonna hit okay, and that way we can create a nice clean layout. So I'll finish it off, and obviously this isn't right, so we need to back this into the wall right here. That looks good. And then from the floor plan, we can just uh, delete that piece and trim this one into this one, and trim that into that, and we're done. So now um, we need to create the men's, so let's just zoom in on the men's uh, water closets and urinals right here in the main. And we can again, we do this, select the plumbing fixtures, create a piping network or piping system select domestic cold water, select all the connectors we need to use, we'll generate a layout, 
And since we just used that layout, we can use the same one for this and it'll have the settings in there. It'll snap to the right place right there. And let's go ahead and connect these urinals. Now we can do it the old fashioned way if we want. So we can go ahead and just actually right click on this, draw a pipe. And as you can see, when I start to go over here, I can just delete this, delete that right there. And we'll trim this into here. And we can use TTR to trim that into that. And now you can see I have that nice connection and I can use my connect into now in the 3D view. And we can use, again, the right connector. And we'll click this one right here. And we just made that. Now we need to bring this, maybe this piece over and we'll make our main right here and we'll go up. So let's just delete this little piece right here. And we'll go from a floor plan this time. And so we'll just create similar right here and we'll go to a point maybe right there for now we'll click escape we'll trim these into that and then we need to make sure we make that connection so we'll use the ttr and i'm using custom keyboard shortcuts in case you were noticing i actually have these uh, shortcuts and i'll have them available on my website mepguide.com and i'll go over how i use them and how i set it up so let's continue on with this little modeling fun we're having. So maybe the next thing we want to do is these lavatories right here. So let's uh, zoom out on the floor plan and let's just again, we'll create another piping network and we'll use the domestic cold water and we'll select these connectors right here. That looks good. We'll generate the layout. And again, I have it at two feet, so it makes things simple and we can just finish the layout right there. Can move this piping right here we can move it even closer into the wall if we want maybe to a point right there and from a floor plan we can probably um, bring the main over here so let's do that we'll create similar and we'll go to a point right here hit escape and then we'll just delete this piece and we'll trim these together right here and then we'll use our trim extend and trim end that into that that looks pretty good Hit escape and since these are the same fixtures I can actually just delete these right here and just create a new little layout over here by copying them over now I don't know where they are so uh, maybe that was a bad idea so we'll undo that so let's just go ahead and copy them now and we'll copy from this corner point right here and we'll go to this point right there and then we'll make sure we select the fixtures that aren't attached to anything and we'll just delete them. So that was not the right fixture. We need to select the one that's not attached to our piping system. So if we tab into all of these, just like that, and then maybe we uh, could hide them. So let's just hide the element temporarily. Let's just delete these pieces right here, just like that. And now they're gone. So we'll just use TTR and we'll trim that to that. That looks good. And the last thing we need to model is the showers. So let's do that. We'll start at these showers over here. So let's just, again, we'll select all the showers we have here. Make sure we get this one. So we'll hold shift. Oh, sorry, hold control. Make sure we get all the fixtures. Use a piping layout, the piping system. And this time we'll use the cold water connection. And as you can see, this one is the horizontal one. So I want the vertical one right here. So I need to make sure I select the second this time, just like that. Now we have this little network of piping or generate layout. And so we have to make the settings conducive to how a shower would be installed. So we have to go to settings. And this time we'll set our main and our branch to nine feet. Set that to nine, hit okay. And that looks pretty good. So let's just finish that thing off. And that looks good. We'll bring this over. And depending on where we want our shower main or shower supply line to be. So maybe we want it right next to this piece of pipe. So we can just create similar right here. And we'll just draw it to a point right there. Hit escape. And again, we have to delete this piece, trim this one into this one and use our trim extend just like that. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to do this shower over here. So we have to basically just do the same thing. So let me zoom in over here. And since we already have the settings, we can quickly do this. So let's just create the piping system. 
make sure we use the second connector and the settings are already done so this one should be a lot easier to just finish the layout out just like that maybe bring the piping in a little bit something like that and this time we'll go from this end right here so we can just delete this piece right here and we'll just create similar and we'll do it to about right there hit escape trim these to this and then use the trim extend just like that so we're pretty much done so the last thing we would need to do is we need to size this system I need to make sure I reset the hiding and so we need to size everything correctly so the first thing we want to do is make sure the sizing technique makes sense so all the fixtures need to be sized using flush valve type so basically let's do that so the mains need to be sized per flush valves but then the flush valves end at this point right here so everything past that doesn't need to be sized by flush valves so let's hold shift here and we don't need those pieces and so all of this needs to be sized with flush valves so we'll just highlight all this these pieces right here just like that and also highlight this main over here so we'll hold control and those are everything that needs to be sized with flush valve type so we'll go to piping system edit type and you can see it's on tank right now so we need to change that to flush valve and now that it's on flush valve we can go to the duct pipe sizing tool and we'll size it to 8 feet per second and we'll match the connector size and click OK and let's just verify that everything makes sense so our main up here looks like it's two and a half inches that sounds about right and then our main into the wall down here is two inches and then it gets smaller as we go through these and even down to one inch right there and these are sized at two inches as well and it looks like it's reducing right here and then right here so that looked like it worked now the rest of the piping can be sized using uh, flush tanks so we can just select some of the piping hit piping systems go to edit type and now instead of flush valves we will use flush tanks and we can just select all the piping that can be sized based on a flush tank type of sizing model so we'll just select that piece right there and we can just slot size each one we can actually just select these right here make sure we deselect this one and we'll hold control and select these showers right here and make sure we get this little branch right here and that looks good so now we'll just lastly size all these little systems right here go to duct pipe sizing hit OK and they are now sized so we've completely sized our system using those different techniques and we've modeled this entire domestic cold water system using these custom plumbing fixtures that I've created and you can if you guys are interested in those you can purchase those with the well you get them for free with the purchase of my course plumbing 101 and if you guys want some more tips on the copy monitor or batch copy command that I did in the beginning of this video make sure you go to mepguy.com and you can download my free fittings and get my three secrets mini course where I go over things like copying content into Revit models, also how to set your routing preferences automatically, how to use the connect into command using custom fixtures, and also the batch copy and copy monitor commands using this collaborate up here. So if you guys want all that, make sure you guys go to mepguy.com.